Hello and welcome to a recording on how to install um, Tomcat 8 on Windows 2012 server and uh, connect it to iOS 8 as a front end. I will show you the exact steps uh, on how to do so, um, but first you will have to download quite a few bits of software. First we have to download uh, the uh, Java SDK or SE edition and you can uh, get that from www.oracle.com. Um, please make sure that you download the x64 version, um, especially if you're getting the, only the JRE. Um, the automatic download would get you the 32-bit version of it. We want to get the 64-bit version in order to easily connect it to the 64-bit um, version of IAS later. It makes our life quite a bit easier. So uh, please be uh, aware of that and download the right version. Then you will have to download the correct version of the uh, Tomcat, and in our case, uh, you can get that at tomcat.apache.org uh, backslash uh, download dash c80 CGI and I've downloaded the 32 slash 64 bit Windows service installer which will install the 64 bit version for us based on the uh, Java uh, system that we have downloaded and then finally you will have to uh, download um, from tomcat.reaforge.org the um, the connector, in our case we are using the uh, bond code connector, uh, the, the version out of um, at this time of the recording is 1020 and I've uh, also downloaded a uh, project for deployment for us, the Lucy project that we will play with once we have installed Tomcat uh, on the server to see whether everything is working as, as it should. I've downloaded everything into the downloads folder here uh, one thing to do for the connector before we get started is right click on the download file, click on properties and click this here, this button that is labeled unblock so once we deploy it we don't get any security issues or warnings from Windows which will prevent the uh, download from working properly for us so we did that so um, we will get started by installing the uh, Java uh, SDK here or JDK and I'm going to run it as administrator and let it do its thing. I'm going to um, install it on a slightly different directory than what it's promised me for because I can and it makes it easier for me to know where things are installed. So um, in my case I'm going to just change this to C Java so I know everything Java is going to reside there and let's let it do its thing. Similarly, I am going to change where um, the JRE is installed and I'm just going to install it right under the folder that I've created and let it do its work. Okay, once the installation is done here, we're actually going to go ahead and right afterwards start the uh, Tomcat installation and similarly here I am going to accept the terms I'm even going to install the examples and I'm going to ask for a service startup and native um, installation in order to um, make sure that this is uh, most performant for the environment I'm going to provide these settings one thing to note is 8009 is the AGP default port which we'll have to use later on and 8080 is the web port. Uh, it will find the Java element correctly and I'm just going to take all this out and put it into a directory called C Tomcat.
OK. Now uh, you see that uh, the connector setup has finished. So now IIS should actually communicate successfully with Tomcat. So where we see AD ADS port, we should be able to actually be able to take that out now and see whether we can get the same response now channel through IIS as the front end server to Tomcat and uh, get uh, a response from Tomcat uh, based on the same processing. The, uh, there we go. So here we have it. Uh, so now we actually in routing traffic through IIS to Tomcat. Everything is collected successfully. Um, and uh, here we go. Uh, IIS is running. So let's deploy a project. So we're going to take the Lucy var and drop it into um, our Tomcat web apps directory and let it expand um, and see how that goes. Um, and uh, Tomcat should pick this up in a second and start a deployment of the application, um, the project into its applications and uh, we should be able to access it in a second. As you see, Tomcat is picking up the Lucy in the um, var file and deploying it for us. It's just we will wait a little bit longer until it's fully deployed, and then we're going to see whether we can access it. Okay, let's see whether we can get there. So, localhost Lucy should give us. Okay, it didn't get deployed yet. Okay, we just wait a few more seconds and then try it again. Um, and see whether we can actually make it work. There we go. Lucy project is loaded uh, super duper. So that's really all there is to it. Uh, again, to uh, go through it one more time, we download and install the Java uh, SDK 64-bit. Very important. Um, that's something we need to pay attention to. Download, install Tomcat, um, run the service, use the native service service option during the installation, download and install the IS connector uh, from Tomcat IS.reaforge.org. Um, take all the default options and uh, based on what you're serving, whether it's servlets, if you're using servlets, use the uh, wildcard option during, um, during the handler installation question, otherwise JSP and uh, CFM based on whether you're using one of the engines um, that we support on the BombCAD side. Uh, thanks and have a great day.